All right, well, the holiday rush is on to get out of town before the winter storm hits, and some flights are already being canceled for tomorrow, forcing flyers to make some last minute changes. Our Rod Maloney is live at Detroit Metro Airport right now. All right, Rod, what's it like there? Christy, it's actually busy out here inside the terminal right now. A few lines is not too bad. And as you see behind me here, there are planes. They are moving um, and they're only a, a smaller group of cancellations. I'll run down some of the cities: Chicago, Grand Rapids, Kansas City, St. Louis. Um, there are uh, rivals that are also uh, having trouble from Los Angeles and Omaha. Those are canceled flights, but we have delays. Seattle, Memphis, Grand Rapids, Minneapolis, Orlando, Des Moines. Those are some of the flights that have been delayed getting into Metro Detroit today. There is a one flight diverted to Huntsville uh, during the day today. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, it's kind of a hit or miss uh, deal. A lot of people are getting to where they want to go. Planes arriving on time. But then there's Bob Howell and his wife, Ina, who we met just a few minutes ago here. Um, and much like the military, they've done more before 9 a.m. than most people have done all day. Let's hear from Bob. We got up at uh, 3 o'clock and drove to uh, Flint Airport for uh, 4 and uh, got there and everything was on time. And then all of a sudden, everything stopped. Like they closed everything. And okay, and, and then you came, you, they said to come here. Yeah, after a while, we finally said, well, we're not going to catch our, our, our connector in Chicago. So they said, so she went through a bunch of stuff and said, okay, we're uh, going to put you on with Delta. And so we got all the Delta information, came here to Delta. They have no record of anything. Okay, so they started in Ontario, Flint. Metro Airport started over here at McNamara. Now they're over at the other terminal trying to find out if they're going to get on their cruise. They're going to Puerto Rico. And guess what? This was a cruise that was canceled by COVID. Uh, those <laughs> one of those situations, very sad, actually, where if they didn't, didn't have bad luck, they'd have no luck at all. So it's kind of like that hit or miss for some people. Best advice, go on the website before you come here to the airport because they list all of the delays. Make sure you know if you're connecting, whether your flight's actually even going to get here. You can do that online and that can certainly help ease your flight. Uh, but we're going to be out here all afternoon. I'm sure we'll hear other stories similar to that. So we'll be back. Christy, we'll see you at three o'clock. Yeah, absolutely. With our with our live coverage starting then. Thanks so much, Rod. You know, it's so, so hard. Sometimes those cancellations, they just roll one after another. Logistics can be tough. We